many outlaws are still alive and then um, how many uh, have seen this and what would they rate it on a scale of one to 10? <laughs> um, the Chicago Outlaws grew to be the second largest motorcycle gang in the world. Uh, so there are a lot of them. Uh, I haven't talked to any of them. And uh, I hope there aren't any here. Uh, I haven't, I, I don't know what they think. Uh, I hope they feel nostalgic and um, give it a big thumbs up. Um, I honestly don't know. Uh, I, I knew, I knew that I needed to fictionalize this club for one, for two reasons. One, you know, um, these clubs take their patches very seriously. They take their colors very seriously. Um, it's not something I was going to take lightly. I didn't want to offend anybody. Also, um, my last film was a film called Loving, uh, which was about, thank you. That's about, that's about right for the box office. Uh, um, but that film was about an interracial couple that got married in Virginia, and their case went all the way to the Supreme Court, um, Loving versus State of Virginia. And, and I really wanted to get their story right. I didn't want to make things up for that film. I just kind of wanted to pay tribute to their actual story. That wasn't the case here. Um, I, Danny just had these interviews from 1965, and I, I didn't want to carry the burden of telling the outlaw's story. I didn't want to go find it. Um, I really... Um, for lots of reasons, I didn't want to go find it. Uh, I just wanted the movie to feel like the book. Um, and in order to do that, oddly, it was easier for me to fictionalize it um, and fictionalize that trajectory. Uh, for instance, like this guy, Johnny, there was a guy named Johnny that ran the outlaws. We're not sure if he got killed or not. We're not sure how that shootout happened. Um, or maybe even if it happened. There are some news clippings about it, but it's a little unclear. And I just didn't, I didn't want the burden of, of reality for that. Um, so it kind of made sense to start to fictionalize it. Arguably, I, I probably should have fictionalized some of the names as well, but I kept a lot of the names. Because um, we couldn't really find Kathy. We didn't really know her last name. We didn't know where to look. Um, and it's hard to find guys like Zipco and Wahoo. <laughs> um, we, we didn't have real names for them. So, you know, uh, but as the movie comes out, uh, I imagine more and more relatives and people are going to kind of come out of the woodwork.